Hi, I'm Lou. On the trail, I'm known as Antenna. On the amateur radio waves, I'm known as K4HNH. And that's Chris. Her trail name is Pink, and her call sign is KQ4CRY. Grab your pack and your radio. It's time to go hiking and hammock. Okay, so heading over to the main building where the uh, exhibitors are. Outside's always uh, a nice setup because Gwinnett's here and then uh, Gwinnett County Aries. And then the AMSAT display. And this looks like a new addition to me. Uh, the North Georgia GMRS network has the trailer out. There's the Gwinnett County Aries van or trailer. And then here is the AMSAT display. And I really like this trailer that they have. And I don't know how well you can see it, but it does have solar panels. And that's uh, North Fulton. It has that. Very, very nice. Mobile Automated Satellite Tower, MAST. Very nice setup. They have this out here every year and do the demonstrations. <laughs> and it doesn't look like... Another sta few stations. Sure. Pretty cool. Don't have any birds coming over at the moment? It can get addicting. Yeah, it's a challenge. But for you satellite fans, these guys are out here every year. And we'll try to see if we can pop our heads in the Gwinnett County van here in a little bit. Might get an interview or something. Also doing DXCC car check. Oh, thank you. And you walk in, and there's the floor layout. And let's see here, Aries and MCOM is at 10, so that is going on right now. Hoda Soda is at noon, so we'll have to go to that one, absolutely. And then Georgia Oxcom with uh, our friend Joe Domaleski, and we'll be doing that. So we'll go to that one, too, at 1. And all kinds of workshops. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is go through the tickets, and that's fun. That's going to be all the way at the back. There's a table all the way at the back with the prize from. So we're going to roll all the way back here and finish filling out the, uh, the prize drawing tickets, or the door prize tickets.
Got the 20 amp by a going on it. I need to get some of those rails for my 891. And we get a big battery box here. With the buddy pole power system on it. Really, really nice. KO4BVV. I know that call sign because I hear it all the time when I'm uh, park hunting for Poda. Seems like every time I'm calling on a park, he's calling them too. And we're usually, uh, or a lot of times, one right after the other on a uh, on an activated park. But you can see he's got a 5100 and a 7300 built into a really nice rack. Got the Heil headset. Very, very nice setup. Hopefully I'll run into him while I'm here. Show the And here we have one of my favorite people in the world, Joe Domolesky, K hey, four ASK, and you're going to be doing uh, fox hunting, right? Here yeah. So this is the Georgia section of ARL Youth Forum, and they've got a bunch of different activities for youth. And so I am setting up for a fox hunt. So we're going to do two foxes. This is a bow thing. We'll be putting out about a watt, and this is the fox I'm going to hook up to it. And then I've got a micro fox. I actually used this in Huntsville Ham Fest. We did a fox hunt in the lobby of the hotel, and I'm going to hide this one too. So we'll see how the youth do, and it should be a lot of fun. Awesome. Great. We'll see you around. All right. Thanks, Lou. Good to see you guys. How you doing, Pink? <laughs> okay, so had a chat with Joe for a minute, and now what we're going to do is we're going to walk around, and we are going to start kind of here in the back, and then work our way forward and up and down the aisles and see what's here, and uh, probably eyeball some people that I want to uh, interview, like Georgia Oxcom over here. We'll talk to them later and have a separate video about that, hopefully. Uh, at least that's the plan. And uh, maybe grab some popcorn from the Gwinnett Amateur Radio Society. No telling who we'll see here. This is a really big or a really popular uh, regional ham fest, so we'll probably bump into some folks we know, like Joe, while we're here. So we're going to go ahead and just kind of show the organizations and vendors that are here. Georgia Single Sideband Association. There's Atlanta Ham Fest has a booth here. We got DARS, the Gwinnett Amateur Radio Society. If I can get that out, Society. The Southeast DX Club, and by the way, they are doing QSL card checks for your DXCC. And as you can see by the little sign right there. There's the hospitality suite over there. And let's see what we got over here. 1802. It looks like this is. Okay, so this is North Fulton. Amateur Radio League. And looks like we have some items from the estate of a silent key. And some cake. He's the webmaster. Really nice stuff on the table. Hey, how's it going? Living the dream. <laughs> here you go. And they are selling raffle tickets here for Ham Jam 2022. And that says it's all about the youth. Saturday, November 12th, Preston Ridge Community Center. What's the Ham Radio event signs? 37 bucks worth over $7,600. Raffle tickets on sale. So it looks like I'm buying some more raffle tickets today. Yeah. How many hats the perforations aren't as good as you? Lou, you want to buy some ham jam tickets? Yeah, let me get uh, five. How many? Five. Twenty dollars. You're raking it over. Wow. Ah. They were raked fast. Chris, how many did you want? I was going to go. Okay, so for the Ham Jam, they say they have $7,600 or over $7,600 of prizes. And this is a sampling of the prizes that they have. 
So we got an FDD X10, a Flex 6400, and a 705. So quite the uh, quite the variety there. Really, really nice prices. Okay, let's see who else we got over here. We have Soltac. 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 I'm going to try to pronounce that. Looks like. Thank you, sir. These guys are flashlights. Oh, several varieties and sizes and intensities and headlamps. Really nice stuff. The leather goods. Do you need a belt? Need a wallet? Need a bag? Do you know where the prize barrel is? All the way in the back where the receiver says VE testing. It'll be right over just behind where that sign is. And as we come up, we have the ICOM booth. Not quite as, go ahead. <laughs> Not quite as fancy as Huntsville, but still all the goods are here. And there's the ID52. What else do we have here? We got the 5100. Will's here. Oh, you're fine. <laughs> There's the 7100, still all in production. Great little rig, 705. Seventy six ten. Want to hit the lottery? I'll buy one. Seventy three hundred. Ninety seven hundred. And the R eighty six hundred. I don't know if I could have both those in the same shack because it would just confuse me. <laughs> And TN07 is here. Got some of their antennas. Some HOA Special Eve antenna. Go anywhere. Of course, we see uh, TN07 at all the big events. Saw them in Huntsville, if I remember correctly. A little idea on their pricing. In this round, yeah. Okay. You could just, if you want, some K Mac cards. How's it going, Jason? The heavy duty drive on mounts. Always a nice selection of stuff from TN07. How's it going? It's going well. Yourself? Not too bad, not too bad. How's the ham fest been for you guys so far? Pretty good. Oh, good to hear. Good to hear. So you're getting some good pictures? Yeah, getting some good footage. Okay. Huh? That's so cool. Okay, so we got HRO here, of course. Of course, they have the store right here in town. So, pretty easy for them to make it over. Got a stack of 7300s back here, and they have the uh, FT710 AESS here for sale. See uh, FTDX10, 718, 891. So they are well stocked as usual for this show. Over here is the sign man. I don't think I can go to a ham fest and not see these folks here. They are at every ham fest. Great people. Um, I've got name badges from them over the years. And, and of course, Tower Electronics, which is the same way. Also, a vendor that I think is at every ham fest I go to. 
and they have their usual incredible spread of uh, bits and bobs and accessory pieces. And whatever you need. The forums are now starting. Ampar, MPC, and beyond in the big forum room, and the Go Box by Shaq in the Box in the small. Also, five more minutes before our first grand or first major prize drawing. So make sure your tickets and subs are in. And of course, Chat Radio is here from Chattanooga. Another vendor that I see quite frequently at these events. They were at Shelby as well. It's another vendor that has a, a really good selection of items. Got some venture keys down here. And, oh no, I was expecting Hamwell to be here, but they could not make it, it says. Rented this space, but had an RV issue and unable to attend. That is a shame, because they usually have this entire wall. And so that's a lot of booth space that, unfortunately, is not being used this year. Another vendor that is always here, and... I buy from frequently. And the wire man is here. I've bought a lot of stuff from them over the years as well. We might pick up some stuff this time around. We'll see. So we'll go back in this direction. Oh, and Paradan is here. I miss those guys. Paradan Radio. They have some really cool stuff. Um, you know, particularly is right there. I'll come back to that. I got an array of bio inos. Mobile battery charger. Looking at battery charger. Good way to uh, power up or recharge your batteries when you are on the road between photo parks or soda summits. And that is uh, guys put, one of their products uh, that I'm really, uh, really intrigued down by. Down I've seen some demonstrations guys put another of radio online in. before on guys YouTube put channel. One more. And that's the antenna display. Yeah. So yeah. it's one of those things that's on my list to get at some point in the future. And keeping my fingers crossed, they just announced that they will be having the first big drawing of the day. So hopefully I'll win something. I haven't won anything in a long, long time. So maybe we'll win something. I'm due. But maybe if I don't win anything here, I'll win that uh, that Flex 6400 from Ham Jam, or I'll win this big lottery. Well, uh, I didn't buy a ticket, so I guess I won't win that. Okay, we got the North Georgia GMRS. The oh. best North Georgia GMRS group. <laughs> How's it going? Good. Good, how you doing? Oh, hang it in there. And it looks like they've got a lot of radios for sale. $20 pet specials. You know, I've got a GMRS license, but I do not have a GMRS rig per se, so that may be something I need to add to the shack. And you can see their reach right there on their map. So if GMRS interests you, I got it. I got the license just because I haven't used it, so I should probably start looking into that. Because you can always buy more radios. And here's the folks from Shack in a Box. And they appear at all of the major events. They make really, really nice stuff. I uh, saw them in my video from Huntsville. 
So that's it for inside the vendor building. Sad that uh, Hamworld couldn't make it this time. Always like looking at, to see what they have. Pink is down here looking at jewelry, it appears. And just in case you need a sword, of course, you can always get swords at the ham fest and knives. Maybe I need a Damascus steel cleaver. There's Pink taking pictures of me taking video of her. Okay, so I think we're going to step outside and we're going to look at the tailgate area. 